Hi everybody, welcome back to story time. And we are going, just a minute, we're gonna do this in a minute. We're going to read some books about airplanes and flying today. Okay, and we have two special guests, Mr. Eli and Mr. Caleb. Mm. All right, let's do our opening song. Can you help me, Eli? I cannot. Okay, mm. well then you can, you, you can just listen while I sing, but I know you can sing this, right? We make the sign for hello, and we make the sign for friends, right? And we sing, hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends. What next? It's time to read a book. All right, let's read some books about airplanes because you know what? Eli and Caleb's grandpa is a pilot, and he can fly airplanes, and at the end of the story time we'll show you some planes he was flying. Okay, this is called Little Plane and it's by Taro Gomi. Okay, and it's called Little Plane. Let's see what it does. <gasps> I'm ready to fly. <clears throat> Have fun, Little Plane. <laughs> Here he goes. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day. You're right, Little Plane. What's he, who's he talking to or what do you see in the, what do you see in this picture? There's a bird up there, and a truck, and a house. Okay, let's see, what is, what is he gonna fly by? What's that? Look out, little plane. What's that? Yeah, we're, we don't want him to fly into the smoke, maybe, or the building smokestacks. Uh-oh, now he went through the smoke. Uh-oh, now you're dirty, little plane. The little plane got dirty. <laughs> Should I land here? What do you think, little plane? Should he land? Should he land there? What do you think? Would that be a good place to land? No. No. There are too many trees. <gasps> Whoops! Try again, little plane. <laughs> that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good place to try to land. Let's see. Okay, here I go. Is this a good place to land? Yeah. No, that's not a good place either. Oops, you're fine, little plane. Uh, he, he tried to land on a, with a hill and a tree. Should I go inside? It's up to you, little plane. I don't know, what do you think? Should the plane go inside? Oh. Where's it going? What do you see, little plane? What is that? <laughs> what is this, Mama? What is this? Hang see if you can tell. Look at me, you're shiny and clean. Oh, it was a plane wash. <laughs> now it's time to fly home. I didn't know they had car washes for planes. Did you? You did? Okay, well you probably know more than about this. I'm going to do this one next and then we'll do this big one, okay? This one is called Amazing Airplanes and it's by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Amazing Airplanes. Do you remember ever riding in an airplane? I, I, I know. You, you, you it don't? It was a long time. It has been a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you, yeah, you rode some when you were a baby, right? But because of the pandemic, it's been a while. Okay, this guy says, whoosh, an airplane is amazing for it travels through the sky above the clouds for miles and miles, so very fast and high. Let's hold it up here so they can see. And then what creatures do you see on this airplane? Bear. A bear. Funny. Funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. What that is an aardvark, maybe? An aardvark. Uh huh. Um, maybe a fox. A, maybe a fox. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fox. All right. An airport is the place you go to take a trip by air. You check in at the terminal to show you've paid your fare, right? Okay. If you're going on an airplane ride, you go to the airport. You go up to the desk and show your ticket, right? Now wait. Yeah. The ground crew weighs your baggage and loads it in the hold, and
and then you take the walkway to the plane where when you are told so your suitcases your baggage goes on underneath the plane right yeah yeah and then you wait till somebody just say it's your turn to get on the plane the flight decks where the captain and the co-pilot do their job oh the captain and the co-pilot i don't know which is which do their jobs they both know how to fly the plane with all those dials and knobs the radio control tower to check the runways they radio control tower, I go, my goodness, to check that the runway is clear. They can't take off unless it is with other planes so near. So they talk on the radio to this tower and they say, is it our turn to take off? Are we allowed to go yet? Right? I bet your grandpa had to do that when he was flying, right? By intercom, the captain on the flight deck says, hello, hello. You have to put your seatbelt on before the plane can go. What else? What else do you have to wear a seat belt for? What other vehicles? Cars and trucks. Cars and trucks, right? We wear seat belts on cars and trucks and airplanes. A plane is big and heavy, yet it climbs up really high. It zooms along the runway and soars into the sky. Mm -hmm. Its wings hold big jet engines, which are loud and very strong. They suck in air and blow it through to whoosh the plane along. When the plane moves fast enough, the air around so swift, it pushes up beneath the wings and makes the whole plane lift. Right? 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 The air and the engines, they all help lift the plane. Soon the plane is in the air, so now you're on your flight. The captain crew look after you. The cabin crew look after you and make sure you're all right. They ask you if you want some snacks or some water. They bring you drinks and magazines and trays of food to eat. And sometimes there's a movie you can watch while you're in your seat. Did you know that you can sometimes eat snacks and watch movies on airplanes? Hmm. When the journey's over, the captain lands the plane. Control tower has to say it's safe for coming down again. You sit with seat belt fastened. There's a bumpy rumbling sound. The wheels are making contact and the plane is on the ground. Bumpity bumpity bump. Sometimes there's hardly any bumps and sometimes there's a little bit of bumps, right? When a plane lands. At last, the doors are opening. Then out you come with smiles. So give a cheer, hooray, you're here. You've flown for miles and miles. What is that? What is that? The, these are the stairs oh. that people, that they oh. can wheel up to the plane to help people step out of the plane. Why? Because it's so tall? Exactly, because it's so tall. Okay, they kind of need to walk up the wing. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be good to walk off the wing because it'd be too 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 tall, too high, too high. It would get hurt, right? Right, Caleb? Should we do another? Let's do another book. But in the meantime, okay, this is a good one, right? You guys, <laughs> you guys want to do a little song? Even if you ooh, even if you don't necessarily, we'll do a little song about airplanes. Let's do it, shall we? You can help me. This is to the tune of I'm a little teapot, but you say I'm a little airplane, okay? Okay, and we and first we look up in the sky. I'm a little airplane way up high. Now we put our wings out. With my great big silver wings, watch me fly. Good job. When the pilot tells me, now we cover our ears to make headphones. When the pilot tells me, I'll come down. Swooping and now we put our wings back out. Swooping and gliding to the ground. Nice. Let's do it one more time just so the kids can learn it. I'm a little airplane way up high with my great big silver wings. Watch me fly. When the pilot tells me I'll come down swooping and gliding to the ground. Nice. Good. We'll, we'll read that one again in a few minutes. How about? Read this one. Okay, let's read this one. It is called Fly. 
and it's by Nathan Clement, and it's called Fly. This one, yeah, this one kind of looks like the kind of airplanes you, your grandpa flew, maybe a little bit. Kind of, it's big, kind of. It's kind of bigger. Okay. Yeah, and people get into it. And people get into it. Yeah, yeah. The airport is filled with passengers ready to fly. The gate agent says, "Now boarding." Passengers present their tickets at the gate. Okay, this is another book about flying on a plane from the airport, right? Whoa! The baggage crew loads the cargo hold. There goes the, there go the suitcases right up that ramp. Cargo doors are closed. Calls the ground crew. There go the suitcases. They go on a moving ramp, just like a like an escalator almost. There they go. These suitcases. There they go. There they go. I'm just holding it up occasionally to make sure everybody can see the pictures. The pilot calls, Roger, brakes released, ready for push. There goes the pilot and the co-pilot and they tell the control tower they're ready and they tell all the ground crew, take away the blocks that are blocking our brakes. Roger, says the ground crew, then the tug pushes the plane away from the gate. So this is a, you know what a tugboat is, right? Like little toot. This is a tug for a plane. It kind of gets it out of the way of the gate. It gets the gate out of the way of it or whatever. Right? So there's kind of, they call it a tug apparently. Just like a tugboat. And the ground control in the tower calls you are clear to taxi. So here's that tower again, and they're telling this plane, it's okay, it's clear, you can start. You can, oh, bug. You can taxi down the runway. Soon the plane rushes down the runway. The pilot pulls back on the yoke and the plane Ooh. climbs into the air. Right? He got. Yeah. Some passengers read. I love to read on airplanes. Some watch the clouds and some snooze. Do you see anybody sleeping on here? Snoozing? Yep, they're snoozing. Yep, yep. Oh, they're reading, right? Looks like these guys are chatting. Mm -hmm. People... Those are all read them. Yep, and these maybe are watching the clouds, you think? I think so. I think so too, yeah. People can do different things on the airplane as long as they're sitting in their seat. Are we flying a long way? asks a girl. Yes, says her mother, but it will go fast. There she is looking out the window, looking at the ground below. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Oh, the time flies. Then the pilot announces, thank you for flying with us. The flight attendants collect the trash, they put food service carts back into the galley and are seated as the plane approaches the airport. Everybody has to throw away their garbage and sit down and put their seat belts on to get ready for landing. Oh, there's that control tower again. The pilot checks with the tower control. You're clear to land, they tell her. You're clear to land. Prepare for landings, the, the pilot says. She adjusts the flaps on, on, the, um, on the wings. There's some flaps that help it land. She adjusts the flaps and lowers the landing gear. So she puts the wheels down, right? The wheels are up, they're tucked up in these holes when you're flying, but the wheels come down so you can land on the wheels, right? you're thinking about that. The co-pilot takes the controls and touches down. Ooh, smooth, says the pilot. Co-pilot landed smoothly. Oh. Welcome to Indianapolis, announces the lead flight attendant. Claim your baggage on carousel six. This plane was flying to Indianapolis. 
flight is now over. Your first flight. You've earned your wings, says the pilot. Oh, it looks like there's a... Did the dog go with him? Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's the end of this one. That's a good one, isn't it? So, I, one of the traditions we have for story time is to do a song called Zoom Zoom. And we pretend we're flying to the moon, okay? So I need to do that one first, and then we will do our last story, okay? All right? Do you know how to do Zoom Zoom? Have you ever done it before? Okay, we'll do it. maybe we'll do it two times so I can teach you. Put your hands together like this, okay? And we go, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Now, do we do, now we do that again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And then we hold our arm like this to make it a rocket ship. And we say, if you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. And then we do, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And then we take our hands and we count down. We go, five. know it we don't have to do it again well I've already started zoom 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 we're going to the moon if you want to take a trip climb aboard my rocket ship zoom 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 we're going to the moon count down five Imagination. What is your imagination? Uh huh. It's kind of pretending we're flying, right? And we, yeah, I will. <laughs> I also want to mention to everybody listening that next week, June 17th, we're going to start outdoor story time at the store at 10:30 Thursday morning, and I love to see you there. Okay. So this is by Julie Fogliano and Christian Robinson, and it's called Just In Case You Want To Fly. And this time the flying is in our imaginations, and it might not be airplane flying, it might just be other kind of flying, anything you can think about. So just in case you want to fly, here's some wind and here's the sky. Can you see the clothes blowing on the wind? They're blowing in the wind. So you need sky and wind, right, to fly. Usually, something like that. And here's a feather, and here's up high. I see a little airplane flying right there. And here's a wing from a butterfly. I'm just gonna hold so the camera can see the pictures on this one. Okay. And here's a cherry if you need a snack. And if you get itchy, here's a scratch on the back. <laughs> this is a poetic book, right? What's a poetic book? We'll figure that out. Here's a rock to skip and a coin to wish. Have you ever thrown a coin into a pond or into a fountain to wish and made a wish on it? No. Yeah, that's sometimes that. We, or have you ever skipped a stone in a lake where you, you throw a flat stone into a lake and it skips along? I do that, you but do that? I don't put money in there really. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And a fork and a spoon and a cup and a dish. We can use all kinds of things to imagine and make art, right? And just in case you want to sing, here's a la la la. La 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 la
la la la la la and a ding 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 are they going into a school or a library or something where the bell or a bookstore where the bell rings here's a joke if you want to laugh <laughs> this what do you know what animal this is do you know what animal this is eli okay this is a bison and here's a little bison and the, here's the joke bye son it's a joke about the word bison bye son and oh what's this here's your toothbrush and your favorite giraffe <laughs> this is a very unusual book isn't it with lots of imaginary things here's a blanket and here's a dream and some kisses on your head Here's a pillow, and here's a song for when you go to bed. Do you like to sing a song when you go to bed? No. 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 What do you do when you go to bed? I go, I get lots of stories. That's a good idea. And just in case you want to cry, here is a tissue, and here's a sigh. Do you guys ever feel like crying? Sometimes they cry when they take away my toys. Yeah, I can them. Here's an umbrella in case it rains. It's not raining here, is it? It's hot. And some honey for your tea. This person's imagination flies all over the place. And here is a map with an X on the spot to find your way home to me. <laughs> the end just in case you want to play. Oh, thanks for joining us for story time. And let's, uh, I'll say next week, Thursday, we're gonna start in-person story time and now we'll sing our goodbyes. Oh no, actually, next I'm gonna show you some video of Eli and Caleb's grandpa who flies remote com control planes now that he's done being a pilot. And he's got a pretty cool, green plane that we can show you it taking off and landing and doing some loop-de-loops and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. I hope you like those videos. Let's do our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs>